it by myself, it's a solo mission. I'm uh, running up the charts, I'm a fool, dog. Turn the whole field to a schoolyard. Bunch of students ain't eating around here. I'm the GOAT, little man, and I made it loud and clear. Put the gas on them like I'm with the Cavalier. Um, show no love, got the confidence, no fear. I use a dub, I'm a win, I won't lose with this. Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. 
The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the New Orleans Saints and the Atlanta Falcons. Naimi Fairbairn set to kick off. Here's Kaimi Fairbairn to do the honors. And we are underway here on EA Sports. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. carry now this is Alvin Kamara and they're able to get this one across the 35 the drive starting with a first down 11 yards on that pickup but well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line if they keep clearing holes like that it could be a long night defensively no doubt about it because when they are in sync as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. with Camara. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense the next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? From the gun on third down, Sawyer. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defense is... And all deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football. And that's what friends are for. <laughs> As the returner, you know who you're buying dinner for later. Oh, without a doubt, because he just took care of you and your team in a big way. You know, you turn it over there, that's a big momentum changer and put your defense in a bad spot. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Now the first carry here for Todd Gurley. And he'll lose yardage here back to the 15. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets him back now for second down. Now it's Gurley. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four-down territory, that really opens things up for you. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. They'll get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Charles Thursday night game, I think a lot of teams probably say shrink the playbook somewhat. Is that correct? I think you're right about that because you just don't have the amount of time that you have in a normal week to put in a full playbook. So as you said, you shrink the playbook, pick out the plays that work best for you. You know what else you're looking for? It's a, Who are the freshest guys coming off the last game to play on a Thursday night? Guys have a little extra pep in their step. You go to them early and often. Now on second down, this is Gurley. They'll get about three as he's brought down right around the 42. He's brought down at the 42-yard line. It's a gain of three. Brings up third and four. And for the Saints here on third down, an extra defensive back on the field. Jameis to throw it. And that is incomplete. 
That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. You got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. Hunter Sterling Hoffrichter out now on fourth down. Deontay Harris deep for New Orleans. That'll go as a punt of 32 yards. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. At their own 26-yard line. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And you know, it's certainly a lot of football left to play. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're in first place in their division, looking really good and looking to be a threat come January. And are you one of those early holiday shoppers, partner? Are you one of those guys get your list done? Because I think about what every team has on their holiday shopping list right now. What's the number one goal? Make the playoffs. Number two, win your division. Number three, and I think the biggest goal of all, try to get the number one seed so you get that first round by and ensure you don't have to go anywhere in January and hopefully get to the Super Bowl that way. Two yards that time, a stark contrast from the big chunk on the previous play. It's second and eight. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. That's out to the left, flat and complete. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. That puts them in excellent position, first and goal after a gain of 19. Try to pound it in, Kamara. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. Alvin Kamara with his 16th touchdown of the year. And the Saints have taken the early lead. Well, these guys have won three straight ball games and another good start to this one out to the 6-0 lead. And I've talked with so many different coaches, as have you along the way, and they always talk about winning streaks and the mood of a team and how much easier it is to actually prepare during that time. Guys are sharp, guys are focused, everyone's feeling good, and we're seeing it early in this one. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. They follow up the first down one-yard run with a minimal gain of two. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Now Winston. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Atlanta. At the 40-yard line. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. For Saints seven, Falcons nothing. On first down, it's Gurley. He'll take this from the 40 up to the 45 for a gain of five. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back. You spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Airing it out, looking for Ridley. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. The intended target was Calvin Ridley, and it'll bring up third down. That's pretty nice to watch as he matched the route with the receiver and stayed right there, stuck to him like glue, almost hip-to-hip, shoulder-to-shoulder, helped force the incompletion. 
Here's Winston. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. It's always a goal that is really nice defensively when you can rally to the football and make sure there's enough contact to force an incompletion. Force an incompletion and force another punt. And good hustle here as this is going to be blown dead right at the nine-yard line. I absolutely love the flexibility of these punters. Their leg drive, able to get it way up in the air. And that allows the punt team to get down there and down it inside the 10 because they've had some time. They begin on the ground with Camaro. And he will lose yardage here back to his own six. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. From the gun, Sawyer. Out of the backfield, that's complete to Kamara. And this one will be taken up. They'll spot it right at the seven. It'll be a two-yard game, and they'll be facing a third and 12. from the gun. Sawyer. And he finds a man on the crossing route. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Then we got to give a little tip of the cap for the defense there. Zone coverage, locked it in tight, made it really difficult because they tried the crossing route against it, and it worked for a completion, but you have to know where the sticks are on third down. Didn't get beyond them. No pickup. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. And how about this one now? In their own territory, a gutsy call. They're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. That's to his running back, complete. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. Well, partner, that was a heck of a play right there because there is no chance that he was the primary receiver on that play. Definitely checked it down to him and just said, please, help us out, make a play. And he does and delivers a first down. Off play action, Sawyer. He's got his man on the crossing route. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. They got 29 yards that time. First down. From Falcon territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 38. Off the play fake. Sawyer. And he finds a man on the crossing route. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. They'll run. This is Kamara. And pretty good running as he'll be close to a first down at the Falcons' 24. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. A gain of seven. First down, Saints. On first and ten, Sawyer letting one go deep for the end zone. And he's got him. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. New Orleans. A 24-yard touchdown. And the Saints add on to their lead. And his kick is good.
makes the score Saints 14, Falcons nothing. Will Lutz after the touchdown, to Lutz to kick it off. And this carries into the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. At their own 21-yard line. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. They've had it twice. They've punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting up third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? And he'll get only a couple up to the 22. Ball carrier. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half, as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this weekend. And he's got Kyle Rudolph. And he's going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for a first down for the Falcons. From the gun, Winston. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 42, and they will set up shop in enemy territory at the 42-yard line. At the 42. When I looked down, he was kind of shaking his head right after he threw that pass. Uh, what did you see? Well, from a defense's perspective, anytime you have your eyes back towards the quarterback, you're in a position to make a play on the ball, whether it's a big-time play by you or an overthrow by the quarterback. You have a much better opportunity. Now they air it out to start the drive, and it's complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A gain of 20. A good pick up there, 26 yards. New Orleans. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. From the gun, it's a run for Camaro. A tough run gets him just inside the 10 to the 9, but no further. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Second and two. Here's a quick throw caught by Smith. Had a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Gain of a yard, and it's third down. Off play action, Sawyer. The third down battle won by Atlanta's defense. Solid coverage. Good coverage that time by the linebacker, Deion Jones. It's now fourth down. And no move to get the offense off the field. They'll stay put on fourth and one. He may try and run for this. And he's going to have just a couple here with a marker on the field as well. That hold coming from the middle of the line, the center. And it's difficult for him because sometimes you've got people right over you, and as soon as you snap it, trying to get your hands up and block them, you can be a little bit late getting it done. And Lutz's kick is good. And the lead will grow. It's now 17-0. So a capper there to a pretty good first half. And I love the way that they put a chokehold on the clock and pretty much drained everything before they put the field goal on the board as they headed into the half. So just eight kicks remaining here in the first half as they'll kick this one away. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. Likely time for one final snap as they start out first and ten.
They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, it'll be Falcons football, and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports. Takes this about five yards deep. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. 20 yard line. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And that first half, one to forget really on both sides of the ball. They got to find some way to string something together here, don't they? Yeah, they're down. And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. That sack by Tremaine Edmonds. After the sack, it's second and 19. And the road gets a bit tougher from here. Another try after the first down sack. Winston flush to his right. And he's going to keep it here. And out of bounds across the 15-yard line. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. While you admire anyone trying to pick up an additional couple of yards, they're just not worth it when you take shots like that. Quarterbacks have to stay in the game and stay on the field. Third and long for Winston. Look at right sideline, that's complete. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Winston now to throw on first down. And they'll set up the screen to Gurley. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That goes for a gain of 31. Obviously, they're not where they want to be right now on the scoreboard. Big plays like that, though, that'll trend them in the right direction. Yeah, a few more like that, they'll be right back in the game. And if they can continue to do that, maybe they'll inspire their defense as well and get a few stops. Yeah, boy, it is tough to bring him down that time. He surges forward. He's going to get a full six out of that. Second down. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four. <laughs> On play action, Winston. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Tremaine Edmonds, the linebacker. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. Off the play fake. Sawyer. Throw left side complete. It's Buchanan. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. 22 yards on the catch and run. A first down. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. Dante Fowler just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. Defensive end gets in there that time. They were in a 4-3. What's the responsibility of the ends versus the tackles there, Charles? Well, most of the time, when you talk about the ends, they're your pass rushers. They're, they're the guys that you turn loose to try and get to the guy who's going to throw the football. The tackles, usually more of the run-stuffing variety. But the way this game is advanced, you're wanting a little bit of everything out of all of your guys. But let's just go ahead and break it down and make it simple. The guy who's the right defense defensive end versus a right-handed quarterback that's the blind side he's going after the quarterback he's going to put him on the ground oh it's out smith lost it and the falcons grab it and they are going to set up shop at the 32 yard line 
Obviously, you got to hold on to the football, but I've got to give credit to the defense there. Good job of knocking it free. Yeah, because a lot of the time we just blame the offensive players for not taking care of it. How about the effort of the defensive players knowing that guys are going to, and if they're good, anticipate the contact coming and try and cover up the football. And they still find ways to knock it free. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. 27-yard line. Winston now. And Rudolph has it, the tight end. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. 22-yard line. Here's Gurley now, toss right. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. They'll stick to the ground game with Gurley. And only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Fourth down after the New Orleans defense holds serve. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. So they recovered the fumble, but ultimately could not take advantage of the short field. Definitely a lost opportunity right there. I mean, they were in prime position to put six on the board. Ended up settling for three. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though? When they only gave up the field yeah. goal, and they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive, a little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown. But they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think coach will be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield, punch in the end zone without turning it over. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. For no gain on the play, it'll be second down. Brings up second down at the 15-yard line. Now an option play on second down. Here's a quick throw out left. That's caught. Sawyer. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. A three-yard pickup. And it's third down. the gun Sawyer and this is going to be intercepted picked up by Deion Jones the linebacker and it's a big turnover there on the final play of the quarter back now here on EA Sports it's the Falcons they'll have the football but trailing on the scoreboard as we get set to begin the fourth first and ten and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball three tight ends are out there And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Second and 11 at the Saints. Off the play fake, Winston. And his throw here is incomplete. He was looking for his tight end there, Kyle Rudolph. Third down here. Before that last pass, two interceptions had already been thrown. And this last one? tipped in the air, which means everyone on defense is almost fighting each other in order to get to the football to try and make it a third. Once you've thrown a couple, 
It's almost like a swarm of bees going after the ball. And in this case, they weren't able to get there before it fell to the ground. Boy, how good has this defense been seemingly all game long? I really think right from the first snap, I think you're really on to something there. In this passing game, it just can't get off the ground. And that play, it wound up losing yardage. Fourth down, Winston. It's caught, Jones. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Desperation time. Winston on fourth down. Being chased out left. Yeah, that is incomplete, but there is a flag. And on fourth down, this is a big call. A good starting spot for the Saints as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. Off play action. Sawyer. Finding Harris over the middle. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. It'll be a gain of nine, and that'll make it second and short. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swing, slant, quick outs, things that they consider safe. To throw on second down. Sawyer. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. The Saints on third down. A pretty woeful 0 for 5 thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. from the gun. Sawyer, he's going to loft one. And this is caught at the 20. Touchdown, New Orleans. Sawyer's a big play there. With his second TD of the game, his sixth on the year. And the Saints now add six to their lead. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is it bad blood that went into this one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them? But the other thing that always hits me is, are they worried about playoff positioning? Right? Are they worried about, do you need enough points in case there's a tiebreaker that comes into play later? The Falcons take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. It's now appearing that this losing streak is going to continue. You know, the coaching staff was confident that this was going to be the game to stem the tide, but that just has... And, oh, Jameis intercepted a third time. Picked off by Marshawn Lattimore. And a big return will get him all the way down to the 35. If you combine last week and this week, he's got a hat trick going because he had two interceptions a week ago. He's seeing the ball so well and understanding where receivers are and positioning. I mean, just watching him work with such great technique and paying it off by actually catching the ball when he has a chance, he's helping his team in a huge way. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. A nice looking play to start the drive down the middle and complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. I'll give him 18 there and the Saints have a first down. Saints. Off the play fake. Sawyer. And his throw is incomplete. They are certainly not letting up on the pressure in this one. And oftentimes you hear this expression, all gas, no break from defenses. But in this case, is the offense still throwing the football up big in the fourth quarter. On second down, Kamara. And he is into the end 
end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Touchdown. Alvin Kamara, his second touchdown of the game, 17th on the year. And the forced turnover on defense leads to six points. Makes the score Lutz good on the extra point, and that'll increase their lead to 28. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. The Falcons take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. To be frank, you really have to feel for them. This is appearing to not be their week yet again. So another loss in the cards as they trail big in quarter number four. The Pro Bowl wideout Julio Jones is intended receiver. But it'll be second down. Here's Winston. And Rudolph has it left side. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Two yards, Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. The Falcons on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This is third down and 12. They go play action. Winston. Eluding the pressure right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Well, give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. They'll probably spend a little extra time dissecting the game film after this one. I think a part of their plan was to hit them over the top of the deep ball. They've been unsuccessful all night. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. He's going to let it go again. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off by Marshawn Lattimore. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. That interception may be the exclamation mark on what really all around has been a good performance. A fantastic performance. They will enjoy film session. Their grade should be very good on this one. And I think the next time the offense gets the ball, I just think about running it and getting the clock done and getting the heck out of here. And by the way, semantics here, but before the grammar police come after me, I think it's exclamation points, not mark, right? You're asking me? Seriously? Yeah, you're smarter than me. Everybody knows that. Let's touchdown, New Orleans! Alvin Kamara. Alvin Kamara. 44 yards. And the forced turnover on defense leads to six points. They seemingly just continue to score at will. And as great as it's been for the offense, you got to feel for that defense down there. And I love how you use the word will because both teams came into the game with the will to win. But one team has obviously imposed its will on the other and broken them. Because what we're seeing right now, wow, that's a defense that's in tatters after what they faced in this ball game. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. We certainly had a sense coming in here that these guys were in for a tough one on the road. That has been how this ball game has played out. They trail big as we continue on now here in this fourth quarter. And he'll get this from the 25 to the 30 for a pickup of five. The first down screen pass, good for five. At the 30-yard line. Here's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. First and 10 at the 48-yard line. The first down throw for Winston. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. But we've talked about it, CD, but it bears repeating. They are struggling to throw the football. All the interceptions and more incompletions. It just doesn't look like things are in sync out there. I would agree with that, and it's not a good day when you feel like an incomplete pass is almost a win for you because it wasn't intercepted. And I think the receivers now, when they're running their routes, they want to catch the ball, but they also want to make sure that the defenders don't take it away. The Falcons on third down, not quite 50%, four for nine. This is third and 10. And he's got a first down as he's going to be taken down. But a very nice pick up there just in front of the two-minute warning. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. 
from the 32 now. Here's first and 10. Jameis again. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. The first down screen pass, good for five. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Brings up they'll throw again. Winston flushed out right. Looking sideline incomplete. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. To the air again with Winston. And oh, they almost had another one. They are all over the football in this game. Nearly another pick. Now fourth down. Boy, not deterred from those first two failed attempts. They're going to go a third time here on fourth down. Again, it's Winston. Going for it all. And this is going to be incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Saints will have the football back. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now defensively they do have all three timeouts. But very little reason to use them at this point. A good start to the drive here as that's caught out on the left side. Pass the 20. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. New Orleans. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that was the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to his second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. Well, I think that the folks here had hoped that maybe this home atmosphere would carry their guys to a surprise victory. But it does not appear that that's going to be the case. There's too much to handle on the other side of this one. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. A second down throw for Winston. Got his man, that's the pro bowler Julio Jones. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 15 yards on the play, first down. From the shotgun, it's Winston. And he gets this one to Ridley complete. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. That's another gain of 15 on back-to-back -back plays. Falcons, first down. First and 10 at the 45-yard line. First down, Winston. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Well, it just seems like all game long, there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching. And my goodness, another interception. Picked up by Marcus Williams. Well, partner, I, I got to tell you, I'm trying to think of something positive to say for this offense, but I'd have to be a spin doctor for that one. This has been a tough performance to watch. And I think it's hard at this point to actually identify what's really gone wrong. I guess the catch-all is everything. Doesn't sound like real sharp analysis, but I don't have much else for you. And the scoreboard just lopsided, and it's been ugly from the get-go. Brings up second and seven. Tonight, well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. 
So for New Orleans, they're setting themselves up as a major contender as they move to 8-1 and one now on the year. And they'll return home next week to take on the Carolina Panthers. Meanwhile, for Atlanta, it's another week, another loss as they fall now to 0-9. And, and they'll look to get back on track next week as they travel up to Detroit to take on the Lions. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.